Welcome to the GS4 200 USB from ESI Technology Limited. This short video will demonstrate and show you a step-by-step -step process of installing the software for this USB digital pressure transducer. Installing the software. Do not plug in your transducer before completing setup of the software. Insert the installation disk into the disk drive of your PC or laptop. Setup Wizard should run automatically. If not, click Run Setup and choose Setup Wizard. Follow the instructions on Setup Wizard, accepting the license agreement and entering your organization details. And then click Next, choose Complete Installation and click Install. The software usually installs within one minute. Click Finish. The ESI USB icon should appear on your desktop. If not, go to the Start menu where it can be found. Installing the hardware. Connect the USB cable provided into the port at the top of the transducer. Plug the other end of the cable into a USB port on your PC or laptop. A pop-up should appear saying new hardware has been connected. Click Yes to run Find Sensors. The software will identify the sensor and display the serial number. If this does not happen, go to the Start menu. Locate the ESI USB icon in the Program menu. Click FTDI driver to install the driver. The software will now locate and identify the sensor. This only needs to be done once. Using the software. To begin, ensure that Enable Reporting is unchecked by going to Acquire. This displays the standard layout so that you can set up your test. The Monitor screen will display automatically. Select Pressure Units, Read Interval and Decimal Places from the drop-down menu. There is also an option to read in absolute pressure. This requires a barometric reading to be entered into File Manager before the test commences. For normal use, select Gauge from the drop-down menu. Click on Zero Sensor to remove any offset error. This should be done before each test. You are now ready to begin your test. Click Start to begin your test. Create a file name and choose a location to save your data to when the test is complete. As you apply pressure to the transducer, you will see the reading display digitally. Directly above your pressure reading, you will see the duration of the test displayed in real time. The temperature of the sensor is also displayed. Click on the Graph tile to see the data displayed in the form of a graph. To include a temperature reading on the graph, check Show Temperature. Right-click on the graph and go to Properties. Here, you can change the appearance and titles of your graph to suit your test requirements. From the monitor screen, click Stop to terminate the test. The data will be saved and will contain information about the pressure, temperature and duration of your test. From the File Manager window, you can access saved files and also export your data in Excel format. The calibration screen shows the calibration data of the transducer for information only and should not be edited. Certificate Generator On the monitor screen, click Acquire and check Enable Reporting. Again, click on Acquire and choose Set Certificate Generator. Back on the monitor screen, you'll notice the layout has changed and you can now fill in the fields with data specific to your test. Once you have entered your test information, click Start. Save your file to your chosen location on your PC or laptop. Run the test. You can click between the monitor and graph screens without affecting the test. Click Add Markers to add significant points during the test. These markers will appear on the graph. Stop test and click Create Report. 
Your report will appear as a Word document, which is automatically saved by the software to your chosen location. The file name will be date and time stamped. If you chose to add markers during your test, they will be shown here on the certificate. You can customize your reports by adding your own logo and customer details. Please contact the sales team for more information.